Hello again, everybody. Uh, continuing on with the uh, theme we've recently set with uh, trying to reach you with different uh, communication types just to get information out. Uh, I'm coming to you again with a couple different items I'd like to talk to you about, make sure everybody's informed, and just uh, try to intensify our communication. First of all, you know, this morning a Band-Aid. I uh, went to the uh, dermatologist today, nothing to be real worried about. The only advice I give you there is use your sunscreen, something I didn't learn on a young age, so uh, that's my PSA for the, for the day and uh, make sure you're taking care of yourself from that perspective. Um, first thing I want to point out is we're having our honors and recognition ceremony coming up. That's at the end of October. Uh, it's October 30th. That's ob obviously a big event for us here at Polk County. Um, we need to make sure that we're uh, recognizing our employees that go in above and beyond and get great results. And so that's our opportunity to reach out to you folks and say thanks. So obviously, uh, if you're involved in that, please make every effort you can to attend. And even if you're not involved in that, it's still a great event. And we get to share in some other people's successes and our successes as an organization. So uh, if you have the opportunity, you got the time, it's a great event. It's a great thing. I encourage everybody to attend. And um, obviously, when we're, when we're going through awards and recognition, we don't get to everybody that does a great job throughout the year. So it's, it's our opportunity to celebrate ourselves. And... And for me to you guys that do a great job every day, I don't think we need an awards recognition ceremony for that. So um, obviously thank you guys for what you do. And um, I'm sure there's many, 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 many more uh, people and events that we could recognize as great jobs. So October 30th, that's our official date for doing that. If you have time, please attend. Uh, another PSA that we have is the uh, IFF was successful in negotiating 3.5% retro back from January. To, um, to this year, at, uh, to October 1st. You guys will see that check October 25th. So be on the lookout for that. And if you see anything that doesn't look like that, reach out to our administrators here and we'll look into the bottom of it for you. But uh, the retro pay October 25th, that's when you should see that. We got open enrollment coming up from an insurance standpoint and you'll see announcements for that. So make sure you're on the lookout, make sure you're looking for that. And if it applies to you, you need to make any changes or you had any additions to your family, um, look out for that and then uh, obviously act appropriately. So be on the lookout for open enrollment. One thing I did want to talk to everybody about is the improved turnout times that we've seen throughout the organization. Obviously, we, we, uh, we put a priority on that. We put systems in place. We figured out ways to track that and then we're talking about it on a daily basis. But what we found is um, they're vastly improved throughout the department. So that, that's the efforts that, of the people that actually run the calls, get on the trucks, make sure they're doing the right thing, hustling in the right areas, and taking those calls seriously. So we put some attention on it. Uh, we've asked you guys to get better. I know I asked you guys um, to, to look at that from a personal perspective and, and improve, and you, you've done it. The results are obvious. I would not say we're 100%. We still have a little bit of ways to go, but. Uh, You've met the challenge, you're performing at a higher level, and I would just say this, let, let's put that into our culture, let's make it an everyday thing, and we're all looking to make the, uh, the same impact. So a great job there, and I'm actually proud of our organization for, uh, for the results. Plans for the new year. Um, obviously, the, uh, the fiscal year is changing, and uh, we get to put in some things into plans or into action that we plan for, for coming up. And some of those things are, Obviously, very, very soon throughout the year, what you'll see is there'll be all fire engines in Polk County Fire Rescue will have three persons. We're very proud of that. That's going to be eight additional. Some of those may take some time with housing and stuff, but we're going to work actively towards that. We're, we're hiring uh, additional people so that we have the, the needed staff to, uh, to get three people on all the engines, but we're very proud. So the two-person engine uh, will, soon, will very soon be a thing of the past for Polk County fire rescue and I'm very very happy to be proud of that to be to be part of that plan on rolling out one two possibly three additional rescue trucks this year um, at various parts of the county with that high unit utilization so uh, very proud obviously that's additional staffing pressures additional paramedics that are needed so we'll uh, we'll do what we need to do to make sure those staffing is uh, is appropriate and people are in the right places. Keeping in mind, we don't want to put too much pressure on mandatory overtime. That's certainly something that I don't want to uh, cause as, as a byproduct of that. So that hiring, that staffing um, increase initiative will continue, but we're looking to do uh, adding people on engines and putting more rescues on the road this year. Um, so look for that stuff to come. Um, and what, 
what we've just went through the hiring process for the training division. We put out interest to see who was there. We held interviews. If you put your name in an interview, I want to thank you very much for, for being part of the process, no matter how it worked out. So everybody needs to keep in mind it was competitive, which was something I was happy to see. But um, very soon you'll start to see those announcements come out. Then you'll start to see the training division staff start to increase. And then hopefully what you'll see is a, uh, a different feel from the training perspective at Polk County Fire Rescue. We're going to be doing more deliberate, focused training on some of the areas that we've decided we need to develop on. So uh, those are just some of the things that are coming for the, uh, you'll see quickly for the new fiscal year, some new positive changes that we're planning on. Um, so keep a lookout for those things. And if you have any feedback for me or any of the other administrators, please, um, please, please reach out. If we need to do a better job or change direction, just please let us know what that is. Obviously, for the fiscal year, the county continues to grow, so we, uh, the pressure on us to perform is not going to go away. We will be busier. We will pick up more calls. The county will grow. So um, those are the things that I'm looking forward to the current year, some things we're working on, and I uh, hope you find this informational. Uh, thanks for what you do, and be safe. Hey, everyone. My name is Rosa Lalonde. I'm a public education manager with Polk County Fire Rescue. October is a super busy time for public education. We got some great opportunities coming up that we can showcase and share with the residents Polk County Fire Rescue. It's our chance to show off. We have two open houses coming up the next two Saturdays. The first one's this Saturday, just in a couple days, October 5th at Peace Creek Station. The next one is the following Saturday, the 12th at Lake Miriam. Those are both 10 to 2. We'll have a lot of activities for adults, a lot of activities for the kids, and just a chance for us to showcase and show off. We're going to have bounce houses, the safety house, Sparky, can meet firefighters, obviously, see our apparatus. We'll have some training for adults with CPR and Stop the Bleed. We'll have some trick-or-treat snacks for everybody. We're just going to have a good time. We hope you can join. We hope you can join with your families. We do ask when PIO shares it on Facebook, share it with your friends, your family, your enemies. I don't care. Share it with everybody and anybody. Look forward to it. Hope you guys have a good time. Be safe today. Thanks for listening. Hello again. Got some exciting news. Uh, the board had already approved the Kathleen Station, which is a replacement of the Sleepy Hill. But the other three uh, were approved last Tuesday. You might have heard of that already. And let me give you an idea of where these stations are going and what I know about them. Uh, so the first one is going to be uh, Kathleen and Catherine Drive, as you can see on the map. Uh, that replaces the Sleepy Hill Station, like we mentioned. It's about three miles north of the existing Cat, uh, Sleepy Hill Station. And of course, it'll be one of the new larger stations, so it'll have room for a future rescue. That one's already moving forward. And Chief Calcutt said, I think he heard uh, possibly December of 2020 uh, for a completion date on that. Uh, the next uh, three are in no particular order as far as uh, priority that I'm aware of, uh, but uh, we'll talk about uh, the Nowcrest Station. Uh, it was going in at uh, Boy Scout Road. It's about six tenths of a mile north of Highway 60 on the Boy Scout Camp Road on the right hand side as you can see by the map. Uh, we've been working on a station out there in this area. Chief Cash had tried to do one years ago at the Ranch Lands area but that one fell through. Uh, but we're moving forward with that. Uh, that one got approved in the design phase and of course that'll replace those two stations we got out there. One's a little fire station, one's a little ambulance station and those will be combined into a newer station give us much faster access to Highway 60 and Kissimmee, uh, Kissimmee River area and those places like that. So uh, that's great. Uh, the next one uh, is uh, Frostproof. As you can see on the map here, that's going to be the 1400 block of Fort Meade Road. And uh, as you can imagine, that's going to combine Station 12 and Station 43 down there at the South County Jail and we'll free up a crew. So that gives us a crew and another engine to go to hopefully a future site. We had talked about maybe more road. That one's not been approved yet. Um, uh, so we're not quite sure, but there again, we got probably a year or so before these stations are built and staffed. Uh, but you can see on the map where that one's going and that's a pretty good um, location for us there. The last one is Lofman. 
Uh, this one's a little bit up in the air because the location we had selected, the location is directly across the street from Lofman Oaks Elementary. As you can see on the map there, just south of the existing uh, fire station. Uh, but it, ha it may have, they may have found sand skinks, which are, is a little protected um, insect or bug or lizard. I think that's a lizard. Uh, and so, like gopher turtles, you know, if you find them on a site you're preparing, you've got to mitigate them or you can't use the site. So they're working through that. However, as you can see, it'd be a, it'd be a great location for a Lofman, give us a faster backup to Davenport and to that new Ernie Caldwell Boulevard and uh, obviously the little Providence subdivision and the new Ronald Reagan Parkway. So uh, those four stations, like I said, uh, are in the, now in the, uh, pre -pl the planning phase and uh, working with the architect uh, on that. So they're, they're moving forward and that's always good news. The next thing I wanted to talk about was Blue Card. Uh, we've uh, opened up the Blue Card site again for those of us that didn't have access. It's been renewed, um, but the, app, the the captains and the bat chiefs that have already been through and certified. We only have what we call records management access. Uh, long story short, we're just going to use that so we can teach in service. But if you're a driver engineer out there and you're qualified to ride up to captain, you too will be soon assigned the uh, 80 hour online, um, excuse me, 50 hour online um, blue card tech class. So look for that in your emails coming up. That's all I got for this go around. Thanks a lot. And as always, send me emails if you have any questions. Thanks.